Hey YouTube, it's me, I Addiction, and I'm here today for another unboxing. I bought today a one terabyte my book. Yes, one terabyte. I finally filled the 160 gig hard drive I have. This is old. I've had this a long time. I didn't mean I got this used actually, uh, but I reformatted my computer and I had a lot of files on it, and I wanted to back them up, and they're all sitting on here. This is just old, old, old. I wanted to get something bigger, so I figured why not go with a one terabyte hard drive. That's right, a thousand gigabytes. Well, a thousand twenty-four if you want it exact. So here's going to be the unboxing. This video might get chopped in the middle because my best friend's moving to LA tomorrow, and he wants to pick up his Dark Knight graphic novel for the uh, long Halloween. So he might call me, and then I might to chop it. So, yeah. I didn't grab my knife, so I'm going to use my teeth. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, it's a Western Digital, my book, external hard drive, one terabyte. One terabyte equals a thousand gigabytes, which I knew that. You can fit 140 hours of DVD, 80,000 MP3s, 91,000 JPEGs. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. 440 hours of movies, 250,000 MP3s, 285,000 JPEGs. This is the inside of the box. Nothing too fancy. I'm filming this with my eyesight, obviously, so it's not going to be as good as some of my reviews, but it's okay. This is the packaging it comes in. There's some other goodies in there, but let's see what's in here. Oh, it kind of folds out. That's kind of nice. We'll get to the drive last. Let me set this over here. <clears throat> ah. Power supply. Asian Power Device Incorporated. Read the instructions. Nope. <laughs> I guess it's just your basic USB cord. Oh, wow, it's mini USB. That's kind of weird. I'm so used to my other one being, you know, the, this version, the bigger version. But I guess it's mini USB. It's pretty cool. And that's everything that's in here. It's like it's like one of those monsters from uh, Pac-Man. Kind of. I really need to shave. Just so you guys know, I don't know if I have told you this or not, I'm going back to school in September, which is awesome. So I'm going to need it for that too, you know, for saving files and backups. Again, this is more important. Save this information. Nothing. nothing. This is just telling you how to hook it up, which is pretty self-explanatory. I really know how to do all of this. I'm hoping this is Mac compatible. I didn't actually look, but everything pretty much is nowadays. So, all right, here's the deal. I'm gonna just, uh, I guess I could do it. Yeah, I'll just keep the same video on. Get the actual drive. Now, the one thing I, I like this drive, but I, I saw that they had like a, like a, like a, a passport drive, which is really small, but it was only 500 gigs, so. Wow. Oh, yeah, I heard about the fingerprint galore. That's okay. Nobody's really going to be touching this. I might even hook this up to the Airport Extreme. Very sleek. Very simple. This is Western Digital right here, which is pretty cool. And that's really it. It's a very, very basic drive. It's bigger. And smaller at the same time than my old drive. See? It's smaller, but it's thicker. It's weird that it's black. Yeah, so you can already see the fingerprints. But that's what good old iClear is for. But yeah, I'm going to hook this up once just to uh, make sure hopefully that it works and see how many actual megabytes or, you know, gigabytes you get. A lot of times with these hard drives, they say you get 500, but you really don't get like 480, you know. 
Well, I'm, I, I've heard Western Digital is prone to say you buy a 500 gig hard drive and they say, hey, guess what? An extra 10 gigs have been added, so it's actually a 510 gig hard drive. Congratulations. I was actually kind of hoping that would happen with this, and they say it like it's it's a 1.3 terabyte hard drive, but I guess that's not my day. So this just goes into the Mac. I'm going to plug that in after I plug this in. I'll move this around. I'm done. I actually have a plug right in my lamp, so I can test it out really quick. Here we go. Let's plug it in. Turns blue. I don't actually want to pick it up because I guess I can pick it up with a little careful. It's very quiet. It's a lot quieter than my other drive. Oh, I recognized it. It says my book. And we'll just look here. Uh, my book, auto run, auto run documentation, install, 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 setup, Mac tools, Windows tools. Let's see what's in Mac tools. Let's double click on this. Memo agent, mem main memo agent. Let's see what this is. I don't know what it is, but I guess I can install it. Why not? Let's see what it is. Continue, continue. Agree. Install. It's writing the files. While it's doing this, I'll go back to the drive. Yeah, it says 930 gigabytes available. See, that's 70 gigs that is not on here, which kind of makes me upset a little bit. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm uh pick a backup. I'm going to mess with this later. I'm just going to X out of this. Oops. I don't know. I'm trying to get back to it. Maybe I can uninstall this other stuff on here. Let's see how much actual space is being used by this other stuff. Nothing looks too big. These are just kilobytes and megabytes. So you don't really get a thousand gigs, which, like I said, I wasn't expecting, but it would have been kind of nice. You get 930. Is that worth it? That's really up to you. That's 930 gigs more than I had before, though. So it works. I plugged it in. I didn't have to install any in software. Very simple. I can shoot all my stuff on there and I'll be good to go. I'll let you guys know in a future video how I thought of it, what I'm thinking, what happens when I hook it up to the Airport Express. Airport Extreme, I'm sorry. I don't have an Express. And just see what's up. I look really bad because it's actually like 12.30 or 11.30. Like I said, I'm really tired. I'm going to be going to uh, bed after I make this. And that's really it. Western Digital. It was $109 at Best Buy. I recommend it from what I've seen so far, but I've only had it about 40 seconds up and running. But, uh, you know, check it out, guys. Let me know what you think of it. If you've used this drive before, let me know. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave a video response, leave a text response, an audio response, whatever you want to do. And don't forget, always, subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks, guys.